Kiora, welcome to my happy place. If you like today's video, please give me a thumbs up, leave a comment so I know that you've been, don't be shy, and please enjoy. I've come on to do some ATCs, I thought I'd do some Halloween um, ATCs to send away, and um, of course I live in New Zealand, it's going to take a while for them to get wherever they go so I thought I'd do them now and I've picked out some papers here to cover them with see how we go so we'll just start off doing that for a start so now do I want to use this glue or no I think I'll use this right now let's find a brush Just give this a good coating. Haven't done a video for a few days because my hip has really been giving me bobsy dye. So, right, just gonna glue that on there and leave it to dry for a bit. Mm, hopefully. These will glue. If not, I have to use something else. So I've got all different. A lot of these I got in Happy Mail, and um, my cards are pieces of cereal boxes or cracker boxes and the like. And we're really just going to. some solid backgrounds on to start because it does give it an extra bit of um, thickness. I'll just pop some of those out of the road and do this. It's another sort of dullish day today but um, very humid. Our weather is turned around to the north, which is it's got sweet written on it, but I like the colours. I don't think we're going to get a full sweet on it anyway. So I'll just do that for a start. This is um, a piece of envelope that somebody sent me is really cool. I really like it. Now, I'm going to save those hearts on the side there for something else. And I'm pretty sure that I'm going to put this bit here. Oops. Yes, that's quite humid. I think we're going to get some rain. So our thoughts are going away for the weekend most probably won't eventuate so not um, not going to be going camping in the rain so yeah so we got here. I really quite like this one. Right, I think I'm going to turn it over this way this time and try it this way. I'll also put some on here. So, we've been invited out to t dinner tonight at my daughter's new house. So. That'll be nice. Her house um, partner, Kate, is a, um, she's the cupcake lady. 
but she also loves cooking, which Andrea, my youngest, does not. She's not very domesticated as our Andrea. But Kate loves to cook, so we're going off for a roast, roast lamb dinner tonight, so that'll be nice. And uh, I'm back at Weight Watchers, so I had a naught, naught point salmon salad for lunch today, so that I'll have plenty of plenty of points left for my dinner. Right, this one out there, I think. So I'm looking forward to that. It's nice, nice to have a meal that somebody else cooked you for a change. Right. One more. Now, I think I'm going to use this one. It's going to be rather nice. This is a bit of deli paper, I think. Paper that I've got in Happy Mail, and I've got all these painty papers that I don't use because I think, oh, they somebody else's art, but they, um, that's what they send them to you for to use. So that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm having a little sort out because I have got so much stuff sitting around that I've received from people that are still in envelopes. I've looked at it, but I was going to try and keep them together so I could say who I got them from, but I just don't have the room for it. I hope I'm in shot here. All right, just put the lid on that for a moment, and I'll just trim these all. And um, we'll go from there. So I'll come back when I've trimmed all these. Right, I'm back and these are my um, ATC backgrounds. They come out really nice. I'm quite happy with them. Not quite sure which way I'll have them yet, but... quite happy with those right now so now I've got a whole bundle of little bits of lace and stuff like that here. and um, a few cutouts and some washi tape but I think I'm going to try a bit of black paint on this one for a start and I've got this red very fine mesh stuff here and I'm going to see if I can use a bit of that and see if it'll um, work as a stencil. So we'll try a bit of that first. Now I suppose I need a little bit of rubber, um, sponge and see how we, how we go. We'll just See if that'll work. Not really. Not do what I hoped it would do. So I think I'm going to blacken that all up. Oh, no, I'm out of shot doing that. I'm so sorry. Just blacken this up and that's what it looks like. And blackened up and a little bit of blue in there and see what we can do with this to mm. all right now the cloth to wipe that up and might 
turn that around so it's the background. And I think we want a bit of dark purple in that. So we're going to try that. And we'll turn our bit of sponge over. And we'll get some dark purple in there. That's what it's looking like now. Right, and I think we're going to put this little bit of webbing, or whatever it is, um, over here. And I think we'll use some of this craft glue it's more liquidy and it will hold it better hopefully yeah. awesome just give that a trim off all right us a little bit of like spider webiness. All right, now what am I going to put on it? Um, I've got a little bit of no, not that. A little bit of a little bit of Let's put a little bit of that down there, across the bottom. Put a little bit of orange. It might look like um, pumpkins. Do that. Put some more of this glue down here. Right now, we just spread it out. See what we can do. Move it around a bit without having it stick to us. Right, push that down. Right, what else have we got? We might move that over just slightly. Right, now I think we're going to put a little bit of black washi tape down it. I've got lots of washi tape that I never ever use. So we're just going to tip it down here. Just push that over a little bit. So we're going to have that down there. Right. that at the top. Right, we'll just put that aside for now. Let it dry a bit while we mm. actually I think I might come back to that. Get these lovely sequins there. And I'm hoping now. I'm hoping that I can just 
get a bit of glue on the end of this so that I can pull apart my you know, and drop them into so I can poke them in there. And some smaller ones there. Don't think they're going to fit in. It's not quite working how I hoped it would. Just give it a little push in there. See if we can get it down in there. Yeah. Push this one down. Maybe so it can get caught in there. That one can stay there. See if I can get another one in there somewhere. I'll just poke it in between them if I have to. Yeah, just a just to give it a little bit of something else. Oh well. I'm going to go around the outside and get a couple of these little ones here. Hopefully they'll fit in. I hope my head's not been in the way. This one here can just drop it. Drop it. Another little one here. So if I can just get you in there. And get that out of the road. These ones are just going to move in. Oops. Let's put them down there. So they'll stick in the right. Okay, now what have I got? I might just go in there. No, I might just cut that pumpkin now. That pumpkin just doesn't go with them. Just take them off there and just lift him out of there like that. I quite like that. Right, I'll just get some glue on them. Up like that. Right. It's my mixed media pumpkin patch. That one is not going to stick there. Just get a bit of glue on it and put it to the side. That's what it looks like. Oh, I'm quite happy with that. I'll go around it later when it's dry. I'll get rid of that. So that's one down. <laughs> one down. How terrible is that? Right, what else have I got here? This here was a bit of a t kid's toy and it had a sort of a balloon with gel in it. So I think we can have a bit of that. Oh, I think we need some better scissors than that. Oh, just 
a bit off there. We might put this bit down here like that. Oh, that's cool. What else have we got here that we can... Maybe underneath. Yeah, we quite like that too, but I think we'll put something else on there. We'll put some black and white washi tape on it. Put them round bits and pieces. Gonna go there in a little these ones are on cardboard so they're a little bit firmer. Alright. Tip you over. Put you there. And we'll put out a little bit of now this I might just put down with my hot glue gun. I'm going to put you there, hold you down there. Some of this around to hold it down. Right, I'll just bring you up there like that. Bring that up like that. Awesome. And then we'll just tack it down at this end with a little bit of hot glue just to. Secure it. Awesome. I'll just get that a trim off there and a trim off there. All right. And that's what that one looks like. I'm quite pleased with that. Right, just clean all this glue off my fingers. This one here has got a bit of green on it. Looks a little bit gardeny. So. I thought I might make this one a little bit ottoman. I've got a little tree here. I could just go in our garden like that. And I've got some pumpkins that just need some. That one looks a bit big. That one's a bit big. What else have we got in here? This one here I'll trim down, I think. We've got another one here. Right, so I think we need a little bit of black, I think we'll do. Just to give them a little bit of a 
not the greatest of pumpkin take a pumpkin for a tree so it looks a little bit further back maybe I think I'll take take that off there as well. I have one here and a single one. Just give this a little bit of So that could go like that. A little rooster here. I don't know if roosters are um, part of Halloween or not, but I take that off there and glue this down for a start. Which side is the better side? Awesome. So we're going to go there. Our tree. Trying not to get ink from my dirty hands on it, but right, get those out of the road, and I think we need some. Some leaves, some autumn leaves. Right, and I've got a bag of them somewhere that somebody sent me. I might have a couple of those. They're a bit big. Mm. Maybe not. Maybe not. What else are we going to have? Something that looks Halloween y. About our little ghost here. I'm oh, quite happy with that. can tell I don't do Halloween very much. I had to print off quite a bit of stuff off the internet because I just I just don't have we don't just have it. Alright. Just let that dry up, that's what it looks like. And then I'll pencil around them with something when they're dry. Right, what else have I got? We're going to have some black. It just looks like the sun's been shining on our black cat. Um, what am I going to put underneath them? Lace or something, I think. Maybe up the up the side. Maybe I could just put a bit of lace up the side. That looked quite 
pretty, just the little trim there. That looks cool. Right, get some glue on there. There you go. Now a little I want a little bit of something behind, but I'm not quite sure what. Um, I have got some hmm, forgot about these. I got these in um, Happy Mail. Or did I buy these? I might have bought these. I might have found them. I might have found them in um, in an emporium shop. Now that I come to think about it, and that's as crooked as a dog's lying leg. See if I can get it off and straighten it. Oops. Took some paint off with it, but it just gives it a still not straight. Try it again. Trim off. Quite cool. Just put our little cat there like that. And I think we'll just glue him down with some. be back. Thank you for being with me. Kia kaha, stay strong, and I'll catch you again soon.